guys uh, welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for this coming out here please do not forget to hit the like button subscribe if you have not thank you very much once again may god bless you all my people they say well i'll be like basico you know they finish you know reports reaching to us right now says the u.n governments have once again asked the Nigerian government to release Mazin Namdekano and start the process of negotiations with agitators in Nigeria before 2023 general elections. As the AGF Malami Abubakar Malami replies, says, IPOP members' case is already in court. The court will determine its fate. Hmm. Can imagine. You, you, you people can now understand that the Nigerian government is taking IPOP leader Mazin Namdekanu's case as personal. Yes. Waiting with that when you do themselves. And they not even feel, talk, and wear make we really understand his crime. That they just want to suffer him like this. This is not the first time, this is not the second time the UN government have been asking them to release him, you know, and they start the process of negotiation. You think you know it all. People are telling you this is not the right way to go about things. You said no. You must do the one in your heart. And that is why we are here we are today. This government, they don't listen. They don't take corrections. They just feel that that one when they their mind might be the best. They keep on making series of mistakes that is eating up the country. In the first place, if the Nigerian government actually play their roles well in the course of this agitation, do you think things will get to this? No. They think using force and all that we solve the problems. But they don't understand that the more you use force on people, the more you are making the person stronger. That is what they did in the Southeast. People who are carrying flags, asking for their freedom instead of you to listen to them, listen to their plight, sit down in a round table and talk with them, discuss, listen to their plight, look into the root of agitations. No, you said, you prefer going after them, killing them one after the other. They are making things worse for this country. This government is really the worst government so far in the history of this country. They are making things worse. If AGF Malami feels that, oh, they have already had it in mind, they want to crucify Mazinam the Kano, or they want to kill him, or they want to jail him, or whatever. They will be making the biggest mistake. Oh. <laughs> they will be making the biggest mistake. This man have a lot of followers, a lot of supporters. These are freedom fighters. They should understand this. If you can give freedom to terrorists, those who are killing Nigerians without reason, those who have destroyed billions, uh, uh, properties worth billions of Naira with no reason. We are talking about people who have made Nigerians, millions of Nigerians homeless. You give them amnesty, you give them good salary, you integrate them back to the society. They are matter, no matter. But somebody, when they fight, for freedom because of these your bad governance is your real problem well it is well understood that Mazin Namdekano is going through this because of where he's coming from he's from the southeast and basically the government not like the southeasterners because according to president Muhammad Buhari he said it hopefully he said it that he got five percent of southeasterners votes so South Easterners did not vote for him. So he's not happy with them. He said it. You can imagine a leader 
You can imagine the kind of mindset a leader is having. Because people do not vote for you. So for that reason, you, you just have to come after them. Today, Southeast has become a killing field for Nigerian soldiers, for Nigerian DSS and Nigerian police. Anybody they see, two or three persons gather, you be a pop member, ESN. They don't kill you now. It's not that they have even seen these people with guns. You are killing innocent people. You are killing people who does not even have gun with them. What are your basis of killing these people? Just because they are, they are from the southeast. But in the north, when people carry AK-47 as their ID card, <laughs> you see them. You see them. Then they. they they, in, in, in the northern part of this country, bandits, they walk out for streets. Nigerian police, Nigerian army, save them, they see them, they go remove their eye. This is really too much. Oh. You cannot release him. Let the court, you know, oh my God. It's really unfortunate. Let the court decide his fate because he's from the southeast. But waiting being in crime. If I may ask again, would it be this now the kind of crime that is asking for freedom? That is just his crime. That is from the southeast. That is just his crime. We don't see bandits and Boko Haram as a threat to the country, but IPOB agitators. Let's see how this will carry this government. Though, anyway, I feel that the government knows too well that. They have no case against him. Even all these ones, you were angels, they talk this and that. All of them are the same thing. When Mahdi Namdekano was adopted in Kenya, I was expecting these people to say something, at least do something about it. They all kept quiet. All these ones, they are just talking because people just, they talk, say, one and they keep quiet. You people have to say something. You will just talk without action. If you are talking, take action. Let people know that. Let the world know that you are against what is going on. Not by you, we just talk. Make it be so you talk. Anyway, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.